there are lots of physical and chemical changes to matter happening around us every day. Whenever a chemical change occurs, we say that a chemical reaction has taken place. But how do we come to know that a chemical reaction has taken place? We can look at four different criteria to assess whether a chemical change has taken place. The first one is if there is change in state of a substance. The second criteria, if there is change in color of a substance. The third criteria to know whether a chemical reaction has taken place is if we can observe an evolution of a gas. The fourth thing to observe is if there is a change in temperature. Cooking of food is an example of a chemical reaction because the initial substance, that is food, changes its state there is also steam coming out and there is also change in temperature. Burning of magnesium ribbon results in a dazzling white flame and it changes to white powder. This white powder is magnesium oxide and it is formed due to the reaction between the magnesium and oxygen present in air. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and think about three examples of chemical reactions. To summarize, we say that a chemical reaction has taken place whenever there is a change in the substance. That could be change in color, change in state, evolution of a gas or the change in temperature.